Good morning everyone, how are you feeling today? Today I'm coming to your live with my messy hair and all sweaty. I just went for a, a running and uh, wh while I'm running I always have uh, ideas coming so I a topic came to my mind um, but before going into this topic I just wanted to share that this morning I didn't feel like exercising at all usually on tuesday morning i go to the gym and i didn't want to uh, i just i just didn't feel like going and um, so i didn't go but my husband before going to to work he said to me why don't you go running outside it's beautiful it's sunny out there so i said okay you you know why you know what you're right so let's go so I went for jogging and so that's why it's so important to have a buddy because my husband sometimes he's my buddy he tells me go for exercise and I go and he motivates me and sometimes it's me who motivates him to go for to play tennis or things like that so that was my first share but that was not the topic of today's life today's life I just wanted to share that Dreams do come true and let me share with you one of my dreams that I had because I have many dreams. I hope you do too. Sometimes it's good to ask ourselves questions. What are my dreams? What are my goals? What is my long-term vision, short-term vision? And one of my dream has always been to be the bridge between different countries between France and Japan, and then between the US and Japan, or between the US and uh, France. It's being a bridge between two cultures has always been my dream. And I think it comes from the fact that I am French and Japanese, and I lived in different places. And I shared it in another live earlier, but for me, it has always been hard to find a job where I could be that bridge. And so I was, uh, when I was in France, I was a sales manager. Uh, so I was in charge of international market. So I thought, why, where, well, super, wonderful. I would be able to be a bridge between different cultures. And I was, but it was not Japan. So I was working with Asian markets. So I would go to Thailand, to Korea, uh, China, I would also go, at some point I was in charge of a European market, so I would go to Italy, Greece, so it was wonderful, but the Japanese piece was missing, and for me, it was one of my dream to be able to work with Japan and in Japanese. And last night, I had a coaching session in Japanese with a Japanese client who lives in Japan and it was it's not my first Japanese client it's just I have recently a lot of Japanese clients um, for coaching and I realized wait a second you go do you realize that it has been your dream do you realize that the seeds you planted many years ago are now blooming. And that's the beauty of, you know, the seeds we plant because we never know where, when they are going to bloom. Um, it's like when you have a plant, when you, see, you plant seeds um, in, the, in your yard, you don't know when it's going to bloom. And that's the same thing with my dream. And thank you for the heart. Thank you for watching. If you watch just say hi in the comment or let me know if you also uh, had a similar experience or if you have currently some seeds that you're planting and you wish they will grow one day let me know i would i would love to read you but yes so that my dream was to work in japanese with japan and currently that's what i am doing not every day but almost every day with a client in japan client in the us in france and sometimes it's very important just to take the time to pause and to just, you know, say thank you. Thank you to, to the universe or thank, and thank you most of all to me. Thank you to me who, who keep believing in myself and who keep pushing, pushing, pushing. And also I was putting in the comments that it is so scary because yes, um, 
I have fears, you know, when I coach in Japanese because I always have my voice in my head telling me, yeah, yes, but your Japanese is not good enough. You haven't been practicing as much as your French. Now you live in the US, so your, 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 no, your Japanese is not perfect, blah, 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 blah. I have all this voice telling me it's scary, it's scary. And at the same time, I'm telling myself, but you know, Yuko, it has been your dream. So now you need to go for it. You cannot ask for something. And when it's just at the doorway to say, no, 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 don't come anymore. And a lot of things, just think about your life, a lot of things. And yes, Emeline, exactly the same for me. And yes, and exactly. And just mo a lot of time, you know, we ask for things in our life. And when they come here at the door, doorway, door, we say, no, 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 no. How many times I have done that? How many times, you know, I've been, for example, I've, I want to be known, right, on the social media. And, and I remember one day I had uh, what bad, bad comments on my YouTube video. And so, suddenly I shut down. The fear was too strong and I shut down and I didn't do any more YouTube videos. And a lot of times, you know, our fear is the indicator that, yes, that's where you need to go. That's where we need to go. We need to push through this fear to go through this fear because the fear won't disappear, really. I ha still have fears huh? after um, seven years, six, seven years of entrepreneurship. I still have fears when I... I record a video, you know, less, of course, it's less than seven years ago, but it's still here. I still have many, many fears, but when I have a fear, for me, it's an indicator that, yes, that's where you need to go. That's where you need to go because in order to achieve your dreams, that's the next step to grow and also to prove to prove to the universe or to whoever is your belief, if you believe in God or universe or Buddha, whatever your belief is, it's also for me it's a proof to the universe and to myself that I am capable, that yes, this dream is for me. I'm fearful, I'm scared, I'm, I will make mistakes probably, and that's okay. So Emeline, thank you for watching and uh, yes, go for it. Even if you have fear, you know, like me, just go for it, go for it, go for it, because I know you have many dreams and I know you are so strong. You have so much, you know, to bring to, to the world. So just go for it. And um, I wish you all a wonderful day, wonderful evening, wherever you are on the planet. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Sayonara. Matane. Good night. Good evening. <laughs> Au revoir. Bye-bye.